Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Effects Maniac again. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri and welcome to another really cool tutorial. So today I'll be showing you guys how to create this uh, really cool looking uh, volumetric sort of abstract looking lighting inside of Maya using Arnold. So uh, it's a very simple effect and uh, it looks pretty cool, but the setup is actually very simple. You can actually do it in like under five minutes. So I'll be showing you guys how to do this. Very quickly, here is one example. I'm using the Arnold Live uh, Viewer in the viewport. You can see that it looks pretty cool, volumetric sort of lighting. So basically, if I stop this, I have a car. I've set some light and stuff, and then I've set up uh, the uh, the atmosphere volume on the Arnold. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this exactly. And if I show you guys a different example. So here's another example that I've done a while ago. So if I, if I go back here, you can see that this one is actually pretty, uh, pretty bright, pretty intense. But the thing I did was if I render this, so if you click render, and once the render is done, you can actually turn uh, down the exposure. So the render is done, and then you can go ahead and decrease it to create something like this, which actually looks pretty cool. So that's that's what I've done there and uh, it's 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 looking really nice so that's that's basically the setup and the only difference here is that I've used an IES or a Arnold light uh, it's called the photometric light which used an IES sort of light shape to be able to get this effect but the basic effect is very simple so I am going to show you guys how to do this on this uh, on that car example and you can set this up too so I'm just going to bring up that example so here's our scene and uh, basically I'm just going to delete these lights and create them from scratch so that you guys can see it so I'm going to select this, select this one and that one and we're going to delete it so basically we have this model and we're going to delete this light too. So the basic idea is if I if I have an object or whatever scene you're having, just as I've shown you guys with that shoe example. So the thing is, you go ahead and you create a point light and you put it somewhere around the areas that you want. So you can you can just like put it here. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to see how it looks. So the thing is you want to hit 7 and see uh, where the light position is and then if you go to Arnold in the render view if, you, if you're using Maya 2020 then you can see that it's there but it's not bright enough so I'm gonna hit control A to go into the attributes editor and I'm not gonna be using the intensity I'm going to use the Arnold tab exposure so if I turn this to like 5 you can see a little bit of the car uh, I mean lit up by this light because it's getting more bright so if I set this to like 10 you can see that it's very bright and the thing that it's actually doing because we've said it previously the most important thing is if I go into the settings render settings I go into the environment I've set this to AI atmosphere volume so if, if I don't have this if I disconnect it you can see that we have the light just lighting up the scene as a regular but in order to get that volumetric sort of atmosphere effect you need to add this you need to go into the render settings and then I'm going to the Arnold renderer environment and then in the atmosphere I'm just going to add an uh, create AI atmosphere volume and then you're just gonna give it some density and that's basically it so then you're gonna go ahead and select your lights and set them up where you want them and the way you want them so I'm just going to make this like 7 and then like control D move it to the other tire you can change the color to maybe like bluish or maybe a little dark blue and then this one to maybe like red just like this and then you can basically just go ahead and duplicate this and move it up and like position it somewhere else and make it like orange or something or whatever color you want you can, you can you can even increase the intensity to make it more bright but I think that's very bright 
and for the and I also have a plane for the ground so it, to just keep the car on the ground so you can see that the shadows are also looking really cool and volumetric so it's actually a very cool effect and then for the headlights I've used some spotlights so if I go here to spotlight or you can use a directional light but I'm going to just use a spotlight and then you're just going to go ahead and bring it up and scale it up and just rotate it like this way and now we need to make it bright bright enough so go to Arnold and make it like what 10 so I've added the spotlight but uh, it's it's and I've increased the exposure to like 10 I mean you can go ahead and give it some color maybe I'll give it a greenish sort of a color but the thing is you, you have to increase the uh, penumbra or whatever it is angle to make it more like soft you know and then you can you can increase the cone angle decrease or increase depending on how far you want this to go so I'm just going to put this here and even increase the exposure and then I'm just going to control D so you can see that it's volumetric it's it's hitting the front in a very sort of cool way and then control D and just move it to this one and I am going to change this to maybe like a cyan color so it's actually already looking pretty cool you know and I'm going to take this point light and duplicate it again and move it up for sort of a, uh, a general sort of light and I'm going to make it bright so you can see the scene a little bit better and then I'm going to let it render and I'm just going to make it like what white not white maybe like dark color just to be able to see the scene you know so you can you can just play around and get some really cool effects and some cool results you can add some other objects you know I can add a maybe a torus or whatever maybe I'll just add a platonic object and just put it like here scale it up if I go out of the that mode I can just go ahead and change the type, you know, to maybe a different type, and then increase the subdivisions, and uh, maybe that that was fine, or whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to do here, but I just hit F and just select all the faces, Control E, and keep faces together off, and then we're just going to give it some this much and then delete so now you can see that we have something let's see how it looks just just for thing for preview purposes so you can see that it's looking very good actually if I put this up here you can see that it's 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 giving it this sort of really cool sort of volumetric lighting effect if I put this down here you can see that it actually looking really nice so if I go here I let this render so you can see it's casting these volumetric shadows and the light is going through it it's just it's just looking really cool so this is basically the gist of this effect that like you are creating some volumetric lights all you do is just create some lights and go into the Arnold tab and add a volume um, atmosphere volume and then give it some density and that's it you know and create some cool objects to be able to you know cast some volumetric shadows some light rays and it is already looking really cool so you can you can use different objects and different um, whatever you want but the setup is basically the same okay so that is the today's tutorial and uh, it, I know it was pretty short and pretty simple but it was pretty effective and cool so you can try it on your on your different things on your different objects and get some really cool results and I would love to see your results you can you can, you can link them in the comment section 
And uh, speaking of the comment section, make sure to go to my YouTube channel, Fax Maniac, uh, subscribe, and do tell me if you've missed anything from the tutorial, and uh, tell me what you want next. So I'll just keep an eye on the comments, make sure to reply to as many of them as possible. And um, yeah, that's, that's basically for the tutorial. Hope you learned something and hope you've enjoyed it. And as I always say, till next time, enjoy working.